Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a new video. I'm in Colleen, Texas, and I'm here checking out one of the worst massacres in this area. Many of you have heard of this case. Maybe some of you haven't, but regardless, this is all about the Luby's Cafeteria Massacre that happened on October 16th, 1991. The perpetrator ended up killing 23 people inside the cafeteria. So, of course, I'm going to give you guys the details of this case. Uh, I'm going to go to where the former cafeteria was. And then I'm going to show you this like memorial that they have, which is kind of outside the community center here in town. On October 16th, 1991, 35-year-old named George Hennard, who was an unemployed merchant, someone who kind of works on boats, he drove his 1987 Ford Ranger pickup truck to Luby's Cafeteria as his goal was to kill uh, reportedly uh, as many people as possible. He ended up driving his pickup truck through the front pane window of the cafeteria and then he opened fire. So there was roughly like 150 people inside the cafeteria. George had two different guns with him. He had a Glock 17 as well as a Ruger P89, uh, both of them handguns. And again, he drove right through the front, uh, front window of the restaurant. As soon as George exited his truck, he mentioned something to the effect of all women of Colleen and Belton, I'm guessing that's a neighboring town, he says are vipers. This is what you've done to me and my family. This is what Bell County did to me. This is payback day. So if you can make any sense of what he's saying, the first victim was a veterinarian named Michael Griffith. He saw many women hi hiding underneath like the tables and booths. And basically he, he would tell them like, are you hiding from me? And then call them like a certain expletive that I can't mention on this channel. Uh, George then approached a guy named Steven Ernst who was hiding underneath the table and he ended up shooting him. Then George ended up shooting Steven's wife through the arm and ended up killing a 70 year old lady named Venice Ellen Henahan, who happened to be Steven's mother-in-law. One of the patrons in the restaurant, his name was Tommy Vaughn, who was 28. He launched himself through one of the windows and kind of helped create an escape for dozens and dozens of the patrons. George reloaded at least three times before police arrived and engaged in many different shootouts with them. George was shot at least three times and with all of his, all of his injuries now, he decided to kill himself. So he ended up shooting himself in the head as soon as police started getting closer. And again, like I said, 23 people were shot and killed. 10 of those people were shot with a single shot to the head. He ended up wounding about 27 others. All right, again, uh, George Hennard was born October 15th, 1956. Killed himself October 16th, 1991. So literally the day after his 35th birthday, that is when he went on this massacre. Ever since he was about five years old, he would move around the country as his father worked in several army hospitals. After George graduated from high school in 1974, he enlisted in the US Navy and ended up serving three years and was actually honorably discharged, meaning that uh, he completed his service. And says in February 1991, about you know six or seven months prior to the massacre, that is when he bought both of the weapons used in the massacre, for whatever reason, stalked both of his two sisters who were 23 years old and 19 years old at the time. He wrote a letter to them which states something to the effect of, please give me the satisfaction of someday laughing in the face of those mostly white, treacherous female vipers. Again, very just bizarre behavior. Again, the day, the day before the massacre, which was his birthday, he spoke with his mother on the phone, then went to get like a burger and fries. And that was pretty much 
what he did the last day before the massacre. So I guess you can say the main motive or whatever was most likely due to the fact that he just had a big hatred for women and just the combination of losing some jobs and just, I don't know, I guess not having much, much anything to do in his life. He was just like a reclusive guy who had a bad temper. I am going to head out of here. Anyway, I'm going to head out of here. Thank you for watching. Again, if you're new around here and you like my videos, just make sure you subscribe. And again, until next time, my name is Harmon, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Rest in peace to all 23 victims. This was absolutely one of the worst tragedies I've heard of.